Hi, this is Tom Vineski with the Times Leader. I'm here with Rick Colville of the North Branch Land Trust. We have a box turtle, first turtle in, uh, in a while, been getting a lot of salamanders. Yeah. And this is an early morning find here. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna zoom in, nice colorful shell on this. Real, real neat patterns. We'll zoom in and get some close-ups while Rick's telling you about it. Okay, I'm smiling today, this morning, because on the road in Dorrance Township, found this cross in the road. This is one of the harder turtles to find in Luzerne County. It's called the Eastern Box Turtle. Box turtle because it kind of uh, looks high domed. It could close its carapace, which is the bottom part of uh, the top part of the shell, and the plastron is the bottom. And when it's threatened or in trouble, it closes. There's hinges on it. It actually closes it real tight, so an animal or a human being can't get in there to to harm the animal. These are kind of very, they're, they're very uncommon in Luzerne County and Wyoming County. We're kind of at the northern part of their range in Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, they're a species of special concern. And these are one of your uh, land turtles. These are the ones that you find mostly uh, far away from water in the forest setting, like which I'm going to release this back into the forest. And they love, they, they eat berries, they eat mushrooms, they eat uh, earthworms, they eat uh, other types of vegetation and insects as well. Uh, they're very long-lived, and there's some records of box turtles living on almost up to 100 years old. And you can count the rings on each scale or scoot, and usually it holds true to about maybe 20 to 30 rings or growth rings. However, as they get older, it's real fine and tiny and thin and narrow and tight, so you can't count them anymore. So this turtle must be at least 20, 35, 40 years old or more. Uh, the males have red eyes and they have a, what they call a concave depression underneath their plastron. While the females, they're more uh, brown eyes and they should have little shorter nails and things like that. And the, the uh, plastron will be kind of level as well. So this is a good find, Eastern box turtle. Okay, this is often encountered, especially in the Southern part of our state, but you'll have this happen in Pennsylvania, Northeastern Pennsylvania. There's a turtle on a road. What do you do? Okay, this turtle was on this road. Number one, if you're going to remove it from the road, be very careful. Safety first. Safely park on the side of the road. Your concern is number one. The turtle's concern is number two. Okay, find out what direction the turtle was going. Okay, if you saw the turtle walking this way, it wants to get to that side of the road. So pick it up. Be careful. Walk on the other side, far away from the road itself. Put it back down. It's going to go on its merry way. Either the turtle is a land turtle, like a wood turtle, or a box turtle, and it's just traveling. Or it's a snapping turtle or a painted turtle that's crossing the road. It's usually a female to deposit eggs. Or going back from where they deposited eggs, back to their wetland. It's pond, stream, river, lake. So in this case, it's the box turtle that's just traveling all throughout Pennsylvania. They're land turtles. Unfortunately, Pennsylvania has a lot, a lot of roads, one of the most in the country. So there's a lot of encounters with turtles and roads and conflicts with cars, which is one of the reasons why they're declining in Pennsylvania, wood turtles and box turtles because of road mortality. So that's our rule. Number one is this be safe. Number two is put the turtle in the direction it was going well offside the road.